All right, Mitch McLean, you were on Driven to Ride. Thanks for being here, man. Hey, thank you so much, Mark. I appreciate being here. Yeah, yeah. It was great to meet you at Sturgis, and uh, it was both of our first times at the Sturgis Rally. I mean, what did you think of the whole thing? Oh, man. Uh, it was a trip, and people have been asking me since I've come back, like, hey, what was Sturgis like? Yeah. What I've been telling most people is just all the stories are true. <laughs> you just kind of you go out there and you have that experience. Um, a lot of people getting to just kind of be whoever and whatever they want to be it was, it was quite the trip. Yeah, yeah, everybody keeps asking, like, was it wild? And I'm like, yeah, I mean, parts of it were pretty wild. I mean, but, yeah, you're right. It's everybody can do whatever they want, and, you know, it's a, it's a big vacation, so, which is, I think, was the most surprising thing for me. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, some people go out for more than just a week, uh, just Sturgis, and that's, like, their, their two weeks off from the year they actually go do. So it's, it's not, it's their vacation. Like, I was out there working, of course, in the booth and the vendors, but, like, these people are here to enjoy themselves, and they're doing so. It's yeah. pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah. so, well, let's uh, let's go back to that. Um, you know, you said you were out there working. What do maybe people uh, know you for? What would you say your claim to fame is? Uh, well, so, I sell Janus Motorcycles. We're probably the smallest motorcycle <laughs> manufacturer in the States. Uh, if you know of one smaller, let me know. But uh, we produce roughly around 300, uh, 300 bikes per year. So it's a small team. You can see them working behind me. There's 20 some people in the company and we went out to Sturgis for our very first time to show off our bikes, run test rides, answer questions about the product and really just get our name out there. And we were in the thick of it over at uh, Buffalo Chip where they were running the test rides and everything. And that was party central, everyone's just uh, walking by with beer and drinks in their hands and it's <laughs> being like, oh, these are cool. Like, what is this? And, you know, just introducing the product is mostly what we're there for, like guerrilla marketing. Um, and we had, a, we had a blast doing it. Yeah, I mean, uh, you guys had a great booth out there. You kind of had a vantage point out in kind of the front yeah. vendor area. You could pretty much see everything and anything that was going on. Yeah. Yeah, we saw some uh, awesome, awesome bikes roll right by our booth. Uh, the monster chopper, that big old thing, just rolled right by us. That was awesome. Yeah, that was pretty wild. I'm, I, was that thing even street legal? You think? Uh, I saw a couple of their episodes. The Brian, Brian Hart Plumbing guys. Uh, they came by the booth actually and test rode some Janus bikes, so that was cool to meet them. But uh, one of their episodes, I'm pretty sure they they titled it but they had issues with because the front fender wasn't a front fender like it's just the arm is counted as a fender you just have to look at them it's pretty wild yeah but, uh, yeah they were riding that thing a lot and uh, it was cool to see just lots of different bikes in different cultures yeah yeah i think that was definitely the most ridiculous like wild motorcycle i saw but yeah like you said i mean I think maybe 10, 15 years ago, you wouldn't have thought at all about bringing the Janus bikes out there. So what was right. what was the response like out, you know, this uh, for your first time out there for bringing these bikes out? Yeah, um, you know, initially it's like a really good response. It was something different, unique. Um, a lot of people just thought it was an old Harley. So they come up real <laughs> close, get a closer look at it, and really, they're like, what is this? Um, but it's uh, it was a good experience overall. You know, there's a couple of, really hard, die hard like Harley Davidson cult fans and they just walk up you tell them a little bit and then they just kind of walk away without even saying anything and, and that's fine <laughs> it's totally get it totally it's some, if it's not a Harley it's it's something different and yeah. that's what we are but it was it was a good response like people just kind of hung out in our booths be like this is cool I need to get me one of these it's lightweight I would look awesome on it. And then we would just put people out on it like, yeah, you do look awesome on it. Go for a test ride. You know, stuff like that. It was a good response. Yeah, no, that's awesome. Especially I, I didn't think about like kind of the old, old school Harley look that does, that does kind of fit the bill a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah. They and had that uh, olive drab bike out there and that just drew attention right to it. Cause immediately thinking it's an old Harley just like they did back in the day. Yeah, and you took, um, I mean, in addition to test rides, you kind of, you and the, the Janus Club, you know, kind of had uh, your own rides out there. Um, what you, what'd you think of the riding out in, uh, in the Black Hills in South Dakota? Yeah, probably some of the best riding I've ever experienced. Um, you know, we're in Indiana. We don't have a lot of curves, so a lot of it's like a grid, just straight lines, that kind of thing. <laughs> but uh, you can find good riding, and we're up pretty close to the Michigan border. But besides that, the best riding I've ever had was out there in South Dakota. Um, 
beautiful views. Um, we did one of the rides, probably the most dangerous riding I've ever done in my really? life. Uh, so it was like the Needles Highway and the Iron uh, Mountain Road. Oh, yeah. Uh, right after you go uh, into Keystone afterwards, after that ride. Yeah. But when we, we went, we had to work our booth all day. And then we look up the weather and we're like, all right, where are we going to go ride? Where, what can we do before the sun's gone and, and the day's over? Like, try to squeeze in a little bit of time. So we check the weather. Weather looked good. We get up on Needles Highway and it's dark clouds just start rolling in. And we're oh, like, no. oh, no, we got to get out of here. And immediately it starts raining. I have a helmet with no visor. I was wearing sunglasses. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I can't see with the sunglasses. So the rain is just pelting me in the face. We're on Needles Highway, just looking around. It's dark. I can't see anything. Yeah. Going around the pigtails on the Iron Mountain, and it's just downpouring, lightning, thunder, and I'm just like, this is the most dangerous riding I've ever done in my life. We're the only ones on the road. Us four guys, we had a chase vehicle, and afterwards, I, I felt like a much more confident rider because we oh, didn't sure. die. And... Uh, <laughs> I feel like we all deserve a patch of some sort saying like I survived <laughs> the yeah. thunder, the thunder in the needles highway. <laughs> like, I don't know, but it was, it was intense. Um, but yeah, some of the most beautiful riding and some of the most almost near death experience riding. So wow. awesome. yeah. I can't wait to go back and experience it how I'm supposed to like nice weather, <laughs> stop and pull over, smell the roses, <laughs> that kind of thing. But yeah, instead of uh, just like seeing what's a couple of feet in front of you and just hoping that you're going to make it. Yeah. Yeah, it was the only time I could see was when the lightning struck. Oh, and when that goes off, you're like, oh, okay. I'm in the thick of it. Oh, it's the woods. Like, cool. And that was it. Like, That's I, insane. And, and Richard was, was riding with us. He was just like, ride what you're comfortable riding. Don't overdo it. Like, yeah. we're, we're trying to get out of this. It's the thick of it. Like, we have to be safe. You know, he was very cautious. We weren't trying to, like, be speed demons or of any kind. It was just like, we've got to survive this <laughs> like, at that yeah. point. Yeah, but, uh, I and Richard took care of us that way. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I did. So I did Iron Mountain down to Custer and over. I didn't catch Needles Highway. I kind of did the long way around. But okay. that was yeah. even a long, like, uh, you know, technical, difficult ride on like a standard motorcycle in a, yeah. on a beautiful day. I yep. mean, that was. So I can't imagine just pouring rain, pitch black. Like yeah. that's terrifying. So good yeah. on you, man. That's uh, and that was. I was on the Griffin 450 prototype bike. I've oh, never really? ridden it. It was a test bike. <laughs> so anything could have happened. That was just like, great. Like, at least I know our product's good. <laughs> yeah, geez. Well, you went through the worst of it, man. So tell yeah. me, what do you think was the best part of Sturgis? Oh, man. Um, I I'm, I love people watching, honestly. It's one of my favorite things to do. And if you like people watching, go to Sturgis because you just get to, get to see different walks of life. Um, I remember a lady came up to our booth and was like, um, very bright pink Harley, and she was older, um, but dressed to the tees, all leather. She had a little dog in the back of her motorcycle, a little case I saw thing. her. I saw her. Yeah. yeah. So she rode. She rode by. She sat on one of our bikes. I put her on a test ride while I'm watching the dog <laughs> that's sitting in the back, just yapping the whole time. Sure. But just just being able to to see the different culture. Um, my the most fun I had was riding um, in that area. Just going around those curves of beautiful scenery. Um, we went from Sturgis over to Spearfish. So that Spearfish Canyon is a great ride for us. Um, yeah, just something I've never experienced. Uh, and that was a great first time experience for me. Yeah, I mean, I think at the end of the day, it's really about riding and motorcycles and all that and all the crazy uh, stuff is just a bonus. Um, right, icing on the cake for sure. I do, I do remember uh, you and I and the rest of the Janus guys saw a Bare Knuckle Fight Club if you remember that yes yes that was epic yep yeah i uh i really enjoyed that i like watching ufc once in a while but bare knuckle fighting was close to that i heard conor mcgregor showed up later that night after we left so that was probably a trip too so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i guess he yeah. did he did pop by and uh i was told that he just was made a post on instagram or something like that and was like sturgis see you tomorrow and then he just kind of oh, came wow. so nice. um what do you think of the uh, the downtown kind of Sturgis scene? Did you guys explore that at all? Yeah, I went down there a couple times, um, and of course, during Sturgis week is is probably completely different than when it's not Sturgis um, sure. Sturgis bike rally. But um, I parked out in front of the museum, 
that they have downtown. Mm-hmm. And it just looks like a really nice culture, um, small town vibes, like what's the population, 7,000? Yeah, so like yeah. But then when Bike Week shows up, it's an insane amount of members. Um, but the, the downtown was just lively and everyone was just out and about, walking around. Either they were walking to a destination they wanted to get from bar to bar, or they were stopping by and looking at bikes along the way because it's thousands of them. So yeah. you're, you're always going to see something you've never seen before. And that's part of the fun of being downtown during that Sturgis Bay. Yeah, it's, uh, it's cool during the day to walk around and see everything. And I mean, to see that some of this stuff that people actually ride that looks like, you know, completely custom or like that you wouldn't think is like would leave a museum or leave a garage and these people ride them around yeah. this whole area yeah. is pretty cool. So a couple of boss hosses I saw up there <laughs> taking yeah. up a couple lanes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. So, uh, well, if you let's so if you didn't have to work it, would you go back and, and in, like take a vacation for a week and, and do the Sturgis yeah. rally? Absolutely. Yeah, I think I would. I think I would primarily be doing the riding aspect and then, you know, at night go to the town and go see a couple of shows and whatnot, see a couple of stunts. But I would definitely take advantage of like early morning riding, getting out there, enjoying the views. Um, I just didn't get to as much since I was working at this time. Yeah. So I always we always tried to squeeze time in, but um, I would love to go back and spend some my own quality time. And I recommend to anyone who's interested in doing some trails they've never trailed before, or some awesome, like, nice curvy roads. Uh, some of the best beauty is out in South Dakota, I was told before. Yeah. And now that I've been, I can honestly say that is true. Like, you should go out there and enjoy it. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah man, I love it. Well, Mitch, thanks for uh, talking with us for a little bit. We appreciate it. Thanks, Mark. Yeah, anytime. You have a good day. Thank you so much. Thanks, man.